This is Cliff Fletch 293. We're standing right outside the door and we're going to step in just, a, just the next step. I wanted you to see the door, so we're going to step right inside the door. This home is on the west side of the Cliff Lodge. It's two bedrooms, two baths, and a den. It's just under 1,700 square feet. It's 1,698 to be exact. So I'm standing right inside the door looking into the great room. Before I walk in there, I'm going to pan just a little bit. You can see the gas fireplace in the side, but just inside the foyer, there's a closet on the left side right here. And then you can see the foyer has a, uh, not a tile, but like a formica finish here. And then I'm going to walk into the home and look at, actually, I'm going to go to the right first. Sorry, <laughs> get started here. So we're looking straight into the great room. I'm going to go to the right first, which is where the master suite is and the den. So there's another closet here in this hallway. Now we're looking into the master suite. But before we go there, to the right is the den. So I'm going to step to the doorway here. Now the den is pretty small, so I'm just going to pan this room. And I know it's hard to get a perspective on it when there's no furniture in it. But you can see it's just straight. This would be a great TV room, library room, crafts room, um, whatever you'd like to use it for. It's in the inner part of the home. So then I'm going to back up and be in the doorway. Now we're going to turn straight back into the master suite. And there's the closet across the hall here. But I'm in the master suite. And as I said, there's the walk-in closet. And then I'll pan slowly to the left so you can see the rest of the bedroom. And then I'll walk in in just a second. So now I'm walking forward into the master and I'll pan this slowly. You can see the window there. Um, faces west. We have a nice afternoon sun right now. I know the camera will adjust for the brightness. I'll step in a little bit more. You can see there. And then I will walk to the window and then turn and look back to give you a different perspective of the bedroom here. So I'm going to jam right up in the corner and turn a little fast there, sorry. Okay, so now we're looking back where we came in. So there's the entry door. And again, you can see it's a pretty good sized bedroom. It would easily take a queen or even a king. Now I'm going to walk back towards the door, but before I go out, we're going to look into the master um, bath. So this is straight across the hall. And you can see um, tile flooring, tile countertops, two sinks, a medicine cabinet there on the side. And then the shower is a walk-in, um, pseudo handicap accessible shower. There's a bench there and a, and a grab bar. And then I'll step on into the bathroom itself. And then just take a peek in the shower. The shower's super interesting, but you see how it's set up. The bench and the grab bar. Okay, now I'm going to back out of the bathroom and just get a little bit better look at the closet here. I showed it across the hall. But you see it's a nice big walk-in closet set up with the current closet package. Really good sized closet. Okay, now that, and there's the door. So I'm turning slowly to look back um, at the entrance. So here's the entrance to the bedroom where we just came in. So now I'm going to walk back toward the great room and look at the other side of the home. So we'll end up in the great room. So here's again the dining room, fireplace, great room again. But we're going to continue straight across to the utility room, the second bedroom, and the second bathroom. So on the left is the utility room. And again, um, Touchmark provides and maintains all the appliances, including the washer and the dryer, but all the kitchen appliances as well. So you see it's just a standard utility room. It's got a little bit of storage space here, and, and more could be added at the top, above the, the cupboards there if, if you wanted. And then here's the door, go slow. And now I've stepped back into the hallway, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I'm walking into the second bath. So the second bath is always a tub shower. You can see we've got a little linen closet there. Again, porcelain countertops and flooring, and then the tub shower combination. All of the bathrooms have emergency pull cords in them, so if you pulled the pull cord, that would contact the front desk. It doesn't call 911, but a little bit of a security help feature. And then just outside, now we're looking back down the hall, but to our left is the second bedroom, and I'll step just in there and pan that a little bit. It has a nice size closet as well. It's not a walk-in closet, but it's a standard 
you can see there that closet and then I'll do the same thing and I'll walk across this room and then pan back to give you a little bit better perspective of the depth of the room so there's the entrance there the doorway there's the closets and then you can see the sides of the room So then I'm going to retrace my steps back to the doorway and we'll go into the kitchen in the great room. I'm not going to shoot much of the view from this home to the west because our memory care wing is currently under construction and it's just across the way here. So the view from this is not good right now because of the construction. It's uh, December 29th today. The construction will be finished October 2013. So we'll have a, a permanent view at that point, but right now I wouldn't want anybody to think that that's the way the view is going to be. Here's the kitchen. So there's a pantry here, refrigerator. Lots and lots of cupboard space actually for the size of the kitchen. You can see you have a window above the sink. So lots of light. Hardwood type flooring. And then I'll step back and scan the room again. So there's a deck. That's the door to the deck there to the right. And then as I said, I'm not going to focus on the view too much because it's not what we want to look at right now and it'll change so now we're looking across there's a fireplace and then straight across this is a, a dining area if you wanted to have a dining room set here or if not you could put something else here okay so i'll go back this way and then i'm going to walk across um, and you can see the view there the terrace lodge outside the window but like i said this is under construction so maybe for those of you that are um, good at visualizing. You can visualize that all this construction will be done. There will be a two-story building on the other side where that pile of dirt is and then there will be quite a bit of landscaping between um, that. You do have a nice view out this side. I know it's pretty bright. With, um, oh, I'm looking right into the sun so that's probably not very helpful of the trees and the courtyard. So then I'm going to turn and look directly back. We'll get us a better shot there. So that the, that's the entryway where I came in. So directly across is the foyer. And again, the, then the kitchen's on the left, so this gives you a little better perspective of the home from this side. So that's uh, Cliff Lodge 293. Thank you. And uh, we'll do an update of this when I have a better, when the construction is finished and we can focus more on the view.